the truth. What it means to be a pure being. Written by Earth ally Will Herder. Purity of being. It's not pure water or food or air that cleanses a being. In fact, no physical thing is going to cleanse your light body, especially because your light body is already pure. The impurities that people feel lie within the mind, the program mind, and those are what need to be cleansed. Poisoned thoughts leads to poisoned bodies, not the other way around. People on this planet are going about it totally backwards, though most people on the planet are living upside down. They believe change in the physical, what they do in the lower dimensions, creates change in the higher. Even people who don't consciously believe this still act like that's the way things work. Go, that, go tell that to any master, and they'll find it highly amusing. The master knows which way energy flows. Now many, if not most, on their path to freedom make the choice to cleanse themselves, and then they change their physical habits, like what they eat, what they drink, etc. They feel better afterwards, but often the root cause, cause is missed. It's attributed to what they did instead of the fact that they made a conscious choice to improve their lives. They were clear in their intentions and got precisely what they asked for, but they truly, but they miss what they truly created the change. It wasn't that they, it wasn't what they did afterwards that brought change. It was the purity of their intention. It's a case of the outer reflecting the inner, not the other way around. This is something very important to understand. Then there's the whole idea of purity itself, which can mean all sorts of different things to different people. Some very ugly beliefs masquerade behind the idea of pure, like the whole pure blood madness. The only thing that's going to create a truly holistic and healthy life is purity of consciousness. That's a clear consciousness that's not polluted with attachments, and it's the most pure thing I can think of. A lot of what constitutes pureness is simply judgment. For example, the toxic chemicals in the water. <clears throat> it is, is it the molecules themselves that are impure? Are certain arrangements of atoms less pure than others? That seems absurd to me. The impurity comes from the intentions of those who put the toxic chemicals in the water. A conscious being can smoke, drink, and eat McDonald's food while maintaining higher consciousness. An unconscious being can drink only the purest water and eat only organic food while having that obsession with that they put in their bodies only to serve to keep their consciousness stuck in the lower dimensions. Worrying about and chasing after only pure things to put inside your body can easily become a distraction and hinder your growth more than it helps. Now, nowhere am I saying to eat unhealthy food or poison your body. People want to create belief systems about how they should be living their lives, and they look to messages like this one for how to do it. My message is simple. Do what makes you feel free. Do things with conscious awareness of how it makes you feel not a belief about what you're supposed to get out of it. Keep what works and get rid of what doesn't. Another good point is that completely pure food, air, and water simply doesn't exist on this planet right now. Telling people that's a requirement for raising their vibrations is going to make it seem impossible. I've also seen people mention that an enlightened being can purify substances that enter their body. But that's not something special. Only an enlightened being can do. It's actually one of the reasons you have livers. You have a liver and kidneys. And transmission and all love is, we love you. <laughs>